Good evening and welcome to the January 21st, 2014 Harupa Unified School District Board Meeting. We will start with roll call, please. President Schmidt. Here. Trustee Mendez. Here. Trustee Hernandez. Here. Trustee Johnston. Here. Trustee Schaefer. Here. Casey Carpio. Here. Shady Fawcett. Here. Amanda Gardner. Here. Thank you. And Shaylee has offered to do our flag salute. And I would ask after we're finished that everyone please remain standing for a moment of silence for Mrs. Angela Painter, night attendance caller and bus transportation assistant who passed away on January 20th. And the board would like to express our sympathy and condolences to her family and to the friends and staff at Rubido High School and the transportation department. Shaylee. Thank you. All right, next we'll move to student board members. Welcome, Mr. Dushan. Patriot. Shaley, you're first. Give us your report, please. <laughs> okay. Well, um, this Friday we have our winter sports rally coming up and the theme is Disneyland. So each class is um, a different land from Disneyland and ASB is putting on a parade skit and we're all dressing up as characters and dancing around and it should be pretty fun, hopefully, if it all goes as planned. And we'll also have performances from our dance team, our cheer team, and um, a student will be singing as well. So it should be a good time for all of our students and to honor our winter sport um, athletes. Um, we're planning a blood drive um, to come up this mid in mid-February and we're hoping to break our goals um, from last year and to continue to um, have to donate more blood from all of our students. Um, our winter sports are in full swing. Um, as we speak, Harupa Valley and Patriot are playing against each other in varsity boys basketball at Patriot, so we're excited to see how that game turns out. And um, girls and boys soccer played against Harupa Valley today as well, and girls soccer won, but I'm not sure the results from boys soccer yet. Um, we're in the early planning stages of our full every 15 minutes program that will take place in April. Um, we're just starting to meet with the CHP officers and um, talking to our seniors that will be involved in this um, big event at Patriot. So we'll keep you updated on that. Um, tomorrow interviews will take place for representatives to attend California Girls State this coming summer. Uh, four girls will be interviewed for this prestigious position um, to attend a camp a, it's a government camp that's at Claremont McKenna College in the summer and I actually got to go to that last year and I'm excited to, for to sit in on the interview process and to see which girl will be picked to go to Girl State next year. Our winter formal is coming up on February 1st. The theme is Party at Gatsby's and it's inspired by The Great Gatsby and it's being held at, in a ballroom that's adjacent to the Fox Theater in downtown Riverside. Um, ASB is participating in We Day, which is um, a conference in Oakland in March that we're looking forward to, and the selection committee to be able to attend that event is um, happening now, so students can apply to, if they've done global and community service, totaling over 100 hours in the last year, um, they are eligible to apply to go to this, um, it's like a concert in Oakland, and um, they, it's only for kids who have uh, sorry, <laughs> who have um, donated their time and service um, that get to participate in these festivities. So we're looking forward to that and to see who gets to go on that trip as well. And that's all from Patriot. Thank you. Um, Daisy, please tell us about, um, oh, I'm wet in the wrong order, but go ahead. <laughs> okay, um, 
Well, um, we're starting, we started off the school year, right? Um, we are on the Get School Challenge again. We came in second place, unfortunately, last semester. But um, our goal for this semester is first place. And um, this is like a FAFSA challenge. So it's all on, it's all on the seniors. So as the faster they get their FAFSA and the more points we get to win first place. And um, uh, cheer, soccer, basketball, wrestling, girls, water polo are doing really good this season. Cheer actually won first place last year in one of their competitions. And uh, this whole week um, is a spirit week, um, like pajama day, crazy hat day, twin day, and formal Friday. And we have our a rally on Thursday. And then we have our midwinter dance, a night in Wonderland, February 1st <coughs> in, our, in our gym. So we're looking forward to a lot of great events going on. Thank you, and Amanda. Um, so ASB has booked a hyperactive assembly with High School Nation and they will also be donating $10,000 to our art and music departments on February 21st. Uh, our winter sports have also began. Um, they played last week and we are off to a good start in most of the sports. Uh, we will also be hosting a league wrestling match this Saturday in the gym. Um, on January 30th, we have the fabulous Falcon Lunch, recognizing 12 to 15 students who have demonstrated perseverance. And we have raised over $1,000 in donations and fundraisers for our four students and their families that were affected by the recent fires near our school. Um, several clothing items were donated as well. It was great to see that so many people respond to help our fellow Falcon family members in a very difficult time. And that's it for Rubido. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. And next we have recognitions to recognize the best of the best for October, November, and December. Ms. Rush. Well, it's me again. Once again, um, every day our employees go above and beyond, but tonight we're recognizing specific employees who went above and beyond um, for October, November, and December of 2013. Um, first recipient tonight is Anson Fenderson. Not sure if Anson is here. Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Anson. He's um, our elementary head custodian at Camino Real. And he's been employed um, for the district as a head custodian for the last 24 and a half years. And he recently transferred to Camino Real this year. As one of our veteran head custodians, Anson has utilized his custodial knowledge and experience to make Camino Real's campus look great. He not only fulfills all of his job responsibilities, but also takes initiative to look around to see what else can be done to support the staff and students at Camino Real. We'd like to thank Anson for taking pride in his work and congratulate him for being one of Harupa's best. Next recipient, Lilia Guillen, bilingual language tutor at Pedley Elementary. Is Lilia here? Nope. Okay, a little bit about Lillian. Lilia, she's provided exemplary support to the staff and students at Pedley Elementary for the last 18 and a half years. In addition to working with staff and student, students, Lilia dedicates many hours to the Pedley Reading Program and PTO. She strives to make the students succeed and it shows. We'd like to thank Lilia for her dedication and willingness to go above and beyond for the students, staff, and parents at Pedley Elementary. Now I know our next recipient is here, um, Bob McDowell. So Bob, if you can come on. No, 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 you don't get off that easy. <laughs> Whenever you see Bob, just like this, he always has a smile on his face. He's always positive and willing to help wherever needed. Pedley's campus looks great because of all the improvements Bob has made. Bob goes above and beyond for the students. Even when on vacation, he volunteered his time to go on a field trip with students when there were not enough parents to attend. Bob is a terrific person, and we're so happy to have him as part of our family, and we'd like to congratulate him tonight. And I don't think our next recipient is here, Debbie Burdick. Debbie's one of our nurses, and she carries out her duties and responsibilities at six of our school sites serving thousands of our students. 
While being efficient in her duties, Debbie also takes, takes whatever time is needed to assist staff and students with a warm and friendly approach. She provides valuable contributions during student study meetings because she's extremely knowledgeable about illnesses and medications. We'd like to thank Debbie for being such a dedicated and hardworking staff member and a true uh, great member of our uh, Harupa family. Ann Cox is our next recipient. Anne's not here tonight, but a little bit about Anne. Um, she's a dedicated and hardworking teacher who does so much for the staff and students at Miraloma Middle School. In addition to being an amazing teacher and avid coordinator, Anne also coordinated a math club to get students excited about math. She organizes Earth Day activities and be counted on to be involved with anything else that is needed at Miraloma Middle. We'd like to thank her again for being an outstanding educator and for her nomination as one of Harupa's best. I know this teacher is not here either. Our next recipient is Kelly McCardle, special day class teacher at Harupa Valley. A little bit about Kelly, on a daily basis, she provides a caring and positive learning environment for her students. She is always well prepared and ensures all of the students have the necessary materials to learn and she makes her classes fun and exciting by providing real life examples for her students to relate to. All of her efforts show as students in her Read 180 classes have made great reading strides. Again, thank you Kelly for all that you do and congratulations. Well, our next recipient, we won't make her come down. Um, what can be said about Denise? Um, I'm not sure any of us, especially Mr. Duchon, would know what to do without Denise. <laughs> Sorry. Nothing, nothing productive, I can tell you that. <laughs> Denise always maintains a calm and composed demeanor, even when faced with stressful situations. She's an excellent liaison to staff, parents, and students of our district. Denise coordinates, besides everything that she does, during the day, many functions including the staff and family picnic, holiday celebrations, and a variety of special events for the district. Denise, I could go on or we could go on all night and probably everybody in this room could stand up and say something wonderful about you and all the accomplishments that you, you've done and we couldn't agree more that this recognition is so well deserving and just on behalf of the entire Harupa family, thank you. I didn't see Victoria. Right. Victoria Job, she's our next um, recipient, and she's principal at Indian Hills. It seems that wherever, um, whatever site Victoria lands, she always seems to make a positive impact. Since coming to Indian Hills in the 12-13 school year, she has created a positive school environment. Victoria is always available for the students, staff, and parents, and can often be seen working side by side with her staff. She spends a lot of her time in the classroom, tutoring, translating, and supporting her staff in any way she can. Her genuine care and concern for the students and the Indian Hills community shine through. And we'd like to thank um, Victoria for being one of our best. Next, and I didn't see her tonight, Jenna Sobstead, Assistant Principal at Rivercrest. Jen is described by staff as hardworking, meticulously detail-oriented, and always accessible to staff and students. She is always thinking about what is best for the students and places their needs at her, as her utmost priority. She is constantly planning and brainstorming with innovative ideas to enhance the learning of students during the district's first year of the on, our online school. The school motto, Moving Forward to Learn and Lead in the 21st Century, depicts Jenna's creativity as well as her ability to motivate and inspire students. And again, we'd like to thank you, thank her for being one of our best. And really quick, we have some honorable mentions, and so if they're here, they could stand at their seat when I call their name. Angela Alanis, Technology Facilitator, Education Technology. Wilbur Brokar, Grounds Worker, Maintenance and Operations. Shannon Cleland, Activity Supervisor and Instructional Aid, Sky Country. Rita Delatori, Bilingual Language Tutor and Instructional Aid, Indian Hills. Donna Fuller, Admin Secretary, Centralized Support Services. Pat Baltiria, Sixth Grade Teacher at Pedley. 
Jackie Cornett, sixth grade teacher, West Riverside. Laura Damrath, a math teacher at Nueva Vista. Veronica Gonzalez, teacher on special assignment, education technology. Judith Hill, English teacher, Rubido. Dolores Hernandez, intervention teacher, West Riverside. Jennifer Marcel, English ASB teacher, Haruka Valley. Kari Rohr, speech language pathologist, Ed Support Services. And Megan Smith, school psychologist, Ed Support Services. And thank you and congratulations to everybody tonight. Thank you and congratulations to all those that received the recognition tonight. Next, we'll move on and recognize the receipt of grant for Troth Elementary School. And there's actually two, so Mr. Jaroski, if you want to just go ahead and do them. Combine them both, okay. First, the Active Schools Acceleration Project, project notified the district that Troth received a grant in the amount of $500 to fund a before school fitness program called uh, BOKS, Building Our Kids Success, and the Barona Band of Mission Indians, uh, along with assistance from Assemblyman Eric Linder's office, notified the district that Troth has been awarded a grant in the amount of $5,000 to assist with the purchase of six HP ProBook notebook computers. Thank you very much. And next we'll move into public verbal comments. And I don't have any pink slips here. Is there anyone that wanted to come up to speak on anything tonight? Seeing none, we'll move on and do administrative reports and written communications and report on the transition to Common Core State Standards. Mr. Dabrowski. Okay. Well, I have four brief announcements today. The first being that the CDE has adopted the math framework, which was something we were eagerly awaiting because that's one step in the process towards um, materials becoming available for adoption. And so we've We've seen that. It's 1,100 pages long. It's about, it's about this tall, um, but it's an excellent document really geared towards helping teachers. So we'll be doing some training for both principals and teachers soon about that document itself. Uh, second announcement, as you know, we've started our Common Core LCFF, LCAP um, community meetings at our school sites. Last week we had three. We were at Hoopa Valley, Peralta, and Mission Middle School. This year, this week, we will be at Patriot High School tomorrow and Harupa Middle School on Thursday. Um, the, the meetings have been very interesting. We had parents, I was at Peralta and Mr. Trujillo was at the other two schools last week. But we had a lot of parents that had, that had really good questions. We spent about 25 minutes discussing, talking, answering questions about technology, about um, about school versus district and how the funding would be done and how parents can have input into the process. Um, it, was a real, it was a real positive meeting. We're getting about uh, 20 parents per site as an average. Um, we've sent out flyers, we've made phone call messages to all parents on campus and, and we've advertised in the record and we have it on the front of our district webpage. So we're, we're hoping to get some more parents out but the meetings have, have gone well so far. Um, next, there is a group called the Curriculum Instruction Steering Committee, which is a division of the California County Superintendent's Educational Services Association. And every year, they have a, a leadership symposium in February in Monterey. And this year's um, symposium is focused on leadership that goes beyond exploration of ed educational shifts into deep implementation that challenges old paradigms and models innovative action. And at the request of Riverside County, we were asked to put in a, an application to speak and model our transition to Common Core as one of the most powerful positive shifts in, in our county, and we were accepted. So Mr. Trujillo and myself will be up in, in uh, Monterey in February presenting to assistant superintendents of education services across the state about what's going on in Harupa with regards to Common Core transition. So we're excited about that. And then another, another accolade, as you know, we receive Title III funds from the federal government each year, and those are funds that are designed to assist the achievement of our English learners. And, and we, last year, um, we had to write an improvement plan under the guidance of Riverside County, and that improvement plan addressed all aspects of how to improve achievement for English learners. And um, 
it, it was approved and, and not long after the county asked permission for um, their ability to use our plan as a model for the rest of the county and, and we were very pleased with that but most recently we were um, approached by the CDE and asked for permission to put it on their Brokers of Expertise website as, as a statewide example of, of a plan that really effectively addresses the needs for our English learners. So we we're very excited about that and I want to congratulate the Ed Services staff, Terry Marino, Sonia Porter, Lorraine Mooney, Ilsa Garza-Gonzalez. We all worked on it together and, and it turned out to be a, a quality document and our, our first and foremost um, task in our minds was to really document what was already going on in our district. And so that really speaks to the good things happening here in Harupa. And that's it for me. Thank you. And next is the Williams Settlement Quarterly Uniform Complaint Report Summary. Mr. Dabrowski. We have no complaints. Thank you. And item C is to announce the initial district proposal for negotiations with CSEA 392. Mrs. Elzig. Thank you. Can you hear me? My, my microphone has been buzzing. I'm good? Okay. The board will have reviewed in closed session the district's preliminary <laughs> proposal for reopener negotiations with CSEA 392. If the board has prepared this proposal, will be publicized at this time, and then the board to, per to permit public comments at the next meeting. And at that next meeting on February 3rd, the board would be asked to adopt the um, proposal. Thank you. And next is item D, announce initial district proposal for negotiations with NEA Harupa. Thank you, and it would be the exact same thing on the NEAJ proposal tonight. We're t bringing it forward to be publicized and allow for public verbal comments at the next meeting. Thank you, and finally on that is to announce the initial bargaining proposal for NEA Harupa. And this would be the same thing, with the exception that this is NEAJ's proposal for bargaining with us. And thank you. And next we'll go to Mrs. Ford and open enrollment. Uh, yes, it's that time of year again, and we'll begin um, the school of choice open enrollment process. And open enrollment will begin in February, and a copy of the notice is included in your supporting documents. Thank you. And are there any other written reports? No written reports, but I just want to thank the group, including two board members that went to Sacramento to testify on the regulations for the LCFF. I was watching. I could not go. Um, and cheering, because you were all so wonderful. Our parent, Iris Nunez, was a, just a real star. I thought she was the best community member that's I watched all day I know you guys watched diligently every minute you stayed in the room I don't think you did if you were smart but I did and um, you guys were just great all of you Tammy Elzig, Paula Ford, Cheryl Schmidt, Memo Mendez and, and our local star Iris Nunez so thank you you did a great job the um, board did pass the emergency regulations so we're now good to go in terms of starting to develop our LCAP Thank you. And next we'll move into the action, ses action session. And Mr. Dabrowski, you have a change. And then Mrs. Ford, I believe you have something also to amend. Yeah, we just have the one edition of a field trip, and that's uh, board members have that, that form. Thank you. And Mrs. Ford? Uh, yes, there is a change on the disper disbursement orders, and that is in um, title the title fund six. Excuse me, the total fund sixty seven should be read ninety two thousand five hundred dollars instead of the grand total. So I will give those to you. Thank you. So we are looking for approval of routine action items by consent, with corrections of items A one through eleven. I have a motion by Mr. Schaefer and a second by Mrs. Johnston. I'll wait for Denise to get back so that she can <laughs> take minutes. <laughs> yes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Mm -hmm. Motion passes 5 0. Oh. oh. Shaley? <laughs> All right, item B. <coughs> oh. 
Okay. All right, item B is to accept the 2012-2013 audit report. Mrs. Ford. Uh, yes, Nigro and Nigro recently completed the district's 2012-13 fiscal audit. And Ms. Jackie Benson of Nigro and Nigro is here tonight to present and answer any questions that you might have on the audit findings. Anyone have any questions, comments? I brought with me a handout that I'd like to give to you. Okay. So as that's going around, I'd just like to say hello. My name is Jackie Benson. I'm a representative from Nigro. Nigro, I um, supervise the audit for uh, Harupa Valley Unified this year. And um, so just kind of wanted to first off say thank you for having us as your auditors. We appreciate your business. Also wanted to extend our, our gratitude to Paula Ford and Karen Russell, who's not here tonight, and also the Business Services Department for all of their cooperation and help in getting us everything that we needed for the audit. So just as a recap, I'm not gonna go through the handout in its entirety. We like to give that to you to take home with you. You can go through the audit report with it. It kind of gives you some highlights and page numbers and things that we like to just kind of point out, but I will briefly go through the audit real quick and just let you know the highlights. Um, just as a recap, we always like to remind people what an audit is, and it's an independent opinion on the financial statements, just to make sure that they're fairly presented. Um, a lot of people have a misconception that we only look for fraud and abuse, um, and that's not the case. We mainly are looking at your financials to make sure that they're reasonably stated. We do keep an eye out for fraud and abuse, but that's not what our audit is designed for. Um, and then also for the 2012-13 year, we're happy to present that we did have an unmodified opinion, which means that it's a clean opinion, there were no findings. And you might have noticed that we did have a title change from unqualified to unmodified. That was due to some new audit standards that were implemented. And then in regards to any findings, we didn't have any findings, but we always like to say that it wasn't for a lack of trying. Um, we did spend about 450 hours on your audit this year. And that's split up between planning and field work and risk assessment, designing and, and um, performing audit procedures. Lastly, we didn't have any audit adjustments. And we always like to say, too, if you're not a numbers person, we do recommend that you look at the MDNA. That is prepared by management, but it's also reviewed by the auditors to make sure that the numbers tie out to those audited figures. And then if you are a numbers person, you can go ahead and dive into page 12. That's where we start out with the government-wide financial statements. Those will give you a long-term focus of the district. Um, it includes things like capital assets and long-term debt. And then after that, those are followed by the fund financial statements, which include major funds and all the aggregated non-major funds. And that's more in a format that you're probably used to looking at. It looks more like the unaudited actuals. And um, one of the highlights that we also wanted to to bring out was just that on page 37, the district did perform a bond refunding in December of 2012, which resulted in savings to taxpayers and decreased the debt service payments. And then after the financial statements, we have the footnotes, um, which we consider an integral part of all the financial statements. It gives more detail, it discusses items that should be considered while you're looking at the numbers. Um, and then behind all the financial statements, we have some other schedules that are required by the state, controller, state controller's office, and then also some that the district just likes to provide. Within there, we have the budgetary comparison schedule and also the trends analysis. Within the trends analysis, it's good to point out that the district has maintained reserves above the recommended levels. Other opinion letters are also included in the back of the report. Those are required by governmental auditing standards, <coughs> by federal auditing standards, and also the state audit guide. Um, within those opinion letters, those were also clean opinions. We had no findings or instances of noncompliance. And then lastly, we had also no prior year findings that required follow-up. And um, in the very back of the report, the state does require that we include a copy of our management letter to management. Those are not findings. They are just some recommendations for things that we thought possibly could have some improvement if, if management feels that's necessary. And other than that, that's all I have. Any questions? Um, I have no questions, but um, I read, I just wanted you to know I read every page okay. that okay. I enjoyed reading the audit. Uh, I know that sounds a little wacko, but um, I, 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 I dreaded it. it. I wasn't, I put it off 
past the holidays in the last two days, I finally read it and I thought, well, this is laid out really well and it was an education. So um, I thank you for that. And so also I would just uh, formally say to the superintendent that I would assume that um, the recommendations you made at the middle schools have been corrected. And I thought that was very good of you to point that out. Thank you thank very you. much. Any other questions or comments? Thank you very much. All right, we are looking for a motion to accept the audit report. Second. Have a motion by Mr. Schaefer and a second by Mrs. Johnston. Kylie, all those in favor say, our student board, in favor say aye. Thank you. Board, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Item C, authorization to solicit bids for carpet and tile Tile work district wide, Mrs. Ford. Okay, we have a motion by Mr. Schaefer and a second by Mr. Hernandez. Mr. Schaefer. Do we have a list of which sites will uh, get the carpet and tile work, or is that as, I know it says as needed, but is there a list of what is needed at this time? It's going to be on an as-needed basis, but I do have one site in particular, Rupa Valley High School, the library, is in dire need of replacement, and that'll be one for sure, but we have a lot of portables and we have a lot of classrooms. You've been to them, you've seen the rippling and the carpet and the tears. So it's gonna be as-needed. But the, 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 this doesn't cover us for the, the, the rest of the year, does it? I mean. <laughs> this, can I jump yeah. in? <laughs> This will not. This will not cover the estimated costs for all of the carpet that needs replaced and tile work that needs to be replaced. This is just kind of the start of those that are in very, very desperate need of repair. Okay. All right. We have we have a motion and a second. Any other questions? Shaley, yay or nay? Thank you. All those in favor say aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Item D, award bid of number 13-14-02, tree trimming services. Mrs. Ford. May I have a motion to approve the question? Have a motion by Mr. Schaefer, a second by Mr. Hernandez. Mr. Schaefer. What do we spend a year on tree trimming? I mean, this doesn't cover us for the year either. Um, correct, but we, for many years, we actually let the tree trimming go. We, we didn't do it because of the lack of funding. So now we're trying to do some, some catch up, but uh, Bill can tell us what this particular project, how many sites that includes. This is for three sites. It'll be Granite Hill, um, especially the back, <laughs> back slope area has a lot of dead trees in it. and brush and we want to get that all cleaned up and then we're going to do Van Buren and Miraloma also. And that's just a start. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? All right, Shaylee. Thank you. Board, all those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Item E, award bid number 13-14-03. The MO for safety surfacing of stairwells. Mrs. Ford. Make a motion to approve the bid. Second. Have a motion by Mr. Schaefer and a second by Mr. Hernandez. Shaley? Thank you. Board, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5 0. Item F, award bid of number 13 14 04. TE projector installations district wide. Mrs. Ford. Have a motion by Mr. Schaefer and a second by Mrs. Johnston. Mr. Schaefer. How many uh, projectors are there? Does this cover? Um, that I do not have on the top, off the top of my head. So I would need to uh, determine how many we had listed in the bid. Also, go ahead. 
Pardon? 221? Thank you. Will that cover the entire district? Uh, that will not cover the entire district. Just what we need now. Yes. All right, we have a motion and a second. Shaley, thank you. Board, all those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Item G, approve waiver request for KC State graduation requirements. Mr. Jabrowski. Thank you, the principal of Nueva Vista is requesting a waiver for one 12th grade student who completed the high school exit exam with modifications and re received a passing score. I have a motion by Mr. Schaefer and a second by Mr. Hernandez. Shaley? Thank you. Board, all those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. And item H, deny kindergarten acceleration request. Mr. Jabrowski. Have a motion by Mr. Schaefer and a second by Mr. Mendez. Any other questions or comments? Shaley. Thank you. Board, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Item I, approve purchase of the MAP testing equipment. Mrs. Ford. I have a motion by Mr. Schaefer, a second by Mr. Hernandez. Shaley? Thank you. Board, all those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5 0. Item J, approved purchase of additional storage area network equipment. Mrs. Ford? I have a motion by Mr. Schaefer. A second by Mr. Hernandez. Any questions or comments? Shaley. Thank you. Board, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Item K, adopt resolution number 2014-27, resolution of the Board of Education of the Harupa Unified School District, concluding Measure C, Independent Citizens Oversight Committee, and concluding committee members' expenditure of Measure C bond funds. Mrs. Ford. I have a motion by Mr. Schaefer. Second. As second by Mr. Mendez. Any questions or comments? Just a comment. Um, how long did this committee wind up serving? It, well, the committee began in 2002, and I believe the last meeting, I know they weren't able to get a quorum together last year, so I believe the last meeting was the 11-12 school year. Okay, thank you. And I imagine um, thank you letters or something that effect went out to the participants in this committee. We have not done that, but we will do that. <coughs> thank you. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Shaley, are you in favor of adopting? Thank you. Board, all those in favor of adopting resolution 2014-27, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Item L, adopt resolution number 2014-28, emergency resolution to replace the HVAC units at Nueva Vista High School and award contract for the HVAC safety screen guards. Mrs. Ford. Uh, during I make a motion to approve with two questions. Okay, I have a motion by Mr. Schaefer. And a second by Mr. Hernandez. Mr. Schaefer. I understand there were 21 units, HVAC units, uh, damaged uh, over the holidays. We're just approving 10 now, or have those others been replaced already? Right. Uh, the other units, because it was at different times, it was one unit here, one unit there. So those were already in process of being replaced, and they were under the um, um, amount that we would need to bring to the board. Um, 
this was actually because it was it was every unit on the campus that we needed to do an emergency resolution if i recall we, uh, last year we there was an emergency resolution for ninety five thousand dollars to replace some damaged ones we've got sixty seven thousand here so these other eleven cost us what uh yeah they, 70, 70, 70 to 100 mm -hmm. so we're looking at a half a million dollars now the other question relates to this that we're going to put screens around uh, or that you want to approve uh, 22,500 for putting uh, safety screens around these units how many units will the 22,000 uh, protect and will they really protect these units from any more copper thieves the units um, would be just for Nueva Vista, so it would be for the units on that campus. So it's for the units that are both um, uh, roof mounted as well as the portable units that are mounted to the side of the portable. And um, they do protect, and uh, we've seen them in other districts. We actually saw them in uh, Corona Norco. They, they use those particular units. So the cost is 2000 around two, $2,200 to secure each one with a uh, guard? Yes. Yes, sir. This, is our, this is our first. Right. Uh, are we going to do this? this to the others? I mean, this is this is yes. going to be very costly. Yes, but we are actually looking at ways in which we can reduce those costs. If I'm not mistaken, it was uh, Ina that was damaged. Is that correct? Uh, uh, last year, ninety-five thousand. Is that uh, correct? Okay. Do yeah, we I'm have do, do we have uh, guards on those, or are we going to be authorizing that eventually? We we do not have guards on those, but we are looking at those basically high hit high frequency areas that we want to make sure that we go out and get guards for. So we would be bringing those back to the board. Okay. Thank you. Um, I have a question on the screening. I imagine the guards in the screening to be heavy like wrought iron. Is that correct, or am I not visioning it? Yes, okay. that's correct. Any other questions or comments? All right, Shaley, what's your motion on adopting? Thank you. Board, all those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Item M, adopt resolution number 2014-29, resolution of the Board of Trustees of the Harupa Unified School District, declaring the board's intention to sell certain vacant district-owned real property identified as the Limonite K-8 site and establishing a date and time in which to receive and consider proposals for the purpose of the site. Ms. Ford. On September 16th, the board declared the Limonite K-8 property as surplus and authorized staff to solicit offers from public agencies and nonprofit public benefit corporations. Staff has solicited um, offers and have received none. The board is now permitted to establish the minimum terms and conditions upon which the board is willing to sell the property and to set a date for the meeting where the board will open sealed bids and the board is required to establish the minimum price for the sale of the property, date of meeting to receive um, open proposals, and whether it will offer a broker fee for the highest offer. So that's what's in tonight's um, resolution. So uh, the resolution also includes a draft purchase and sale agreement, establishing the remaining terms of sale. And if the board approves the resolution of intent to sell, the district staff will begin advertising as required and also begin the process of actively marketing the property. During the auction meeting, the board will have the option to accept um, uh, the highest written or oral bid. They can re uh, the board can reject all bids or can adjourn the meeting for up to 10 days to consider the proposals that are received. 
and administration is recommending the board adopt resolution number 2014-29, resolution of the Board of Trustees of the Harupa Unified School District, declaring the board's intention to sell certain vacant district, district-owned real property identified as the Limonite K-8 site and establishing a date and time in which to receive and consider proposals for the purchase of the site. Make a motion to approve resolution number 2014-29. Second. Have a motion by Mr. Schaefer and a second by Mr. Mendez. Any questions or comments? Okay, so I read that yes. now or is that a separate? No, you okay. read that now. Okay. okay. All right, so the motion is. Um, to approve resolution 2014-29 amended to reflect a minimum purchase price of two million one hundred and twenty three thousand a date for the board to open and declare the proposal at its regular meeting of april seventh two thousand fourteen and a corresponding deadline for the receipt of written proposals of april fourth two thousand fourteen um, the Friday before the board meeting as otherwise specified in the resolution and to include a buyer's broker fee of 2.5%. All right, so we have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Item N, adopted a second reading, revised board policy and administrative regulation 3311 bids. Mrs. Ford. Thank you, Mr. Schaefer, and a second by Mr. Mendez. Although, Shaley. Thank you. Board, all those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Item O, act on student discipline cases. We have one revoke expulsion case, case 13-040. Make a motion to approve. Second. Have a motion by Mr. Mendez, a second by Mr. Schaefer. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Expulsion cases, agreement, and stipulation. We have two, case 14-022 and 14-024. I have a motion by Mr. Mendez and a second by Mr. Schaefer. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Expulsion, suspended expulsion case, agreement, and stipulation. We have one. Case 14-023. Have a motion by Mr. Mendez and a second by Mr. Schaefer. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Suspended expulsion case, administrative hearing. We have one. Case 14-014. Have a motion by Mr. Mendez and a second by Mr. Schaefer. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5 0. Approved readmission cases. We have nine 12 069, 13 006, 13 023, 13 039, 13 059, 13 078. 13-079, I have a motion by Mr. Mendez and a second by Mr. Schaefer. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Denied readmission cases, we have nine. 13-038, 13-050, 13-051, 13-065, Have a motion by Mr. Mendez and a second by Mr. Schaefer. All those in favor say aye. 
Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Denied readmission, suspended expulsion cases. We have six, 13-033, 13-039, 13-042, 13-043, 13-044, 13-045, 13-046, 13-047, 13-048, 13-049, 13-050, 13-051, 13-052, 13-053, 13-054, 13-055, 13-056, 13-057, 13-058, 13-059, 13-060, 13-061, 13-062, 13-067, 13-068, 13-069, 13-070, 13-071, 13-072, 13-073, 13-074, 13-075, 13-076, 13-077, 13-078, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079, 13-079
There is a lot going on. There, there is uh, LCFF, the new local control funding formula. There is uh, local control uh, uh, accountability. There is a lot going on. And it is important that the parents participate because this is about this, this new formula is, is to help the students. And that's where most of the funding should go. So uh, I just would have to say that uh, uh, we do have a good team here starting out the new year. I don't know how the, the end, how it's going to end up in November, but we do have a good team here and, and things seem to go very smoothly. Uh, and yet we do have differences. Uh, but we're adult enough about it to uh, respect each other's opinion. And uh, compared to years ago, we, have a, we really do have a good team. And I've got to give staff a lot of credit. Sometimes we don't agree with uh, some of their recommendations, but uh, it, it all works out in the end. Uh, and it's all about the kids. It's all about education. But uh, the LCAP is very important for the parents par to participate because we have to hear what, what they feel their, their students need, and, and we need that, that input. So uh, I would also like to uh, uh, commend those that are, uh, my colleague, Mr. Hernandez, and those that are on the Facility and Technology Committee. We're kind of winding that up. We've got, I think, four more schools to go to. Uh, again, Mr. Elzig, kudos to maintenance. They, they do one heck of a job. Our schools are in uh, pretty good shape. So uh, uh, I think we've got four schools to still see and maybe one in another district, but uh, it's been a long process and uh, we, we've lost a number of uh, uh, committee members, but uh, there's so many that are hanging on and uh, we're going to see it to the end. So thank you very much. Mr. Mendez. I also have uh, a lot of words of congratulations for on several fronts. Um, first and foremost, of course, the best of the best. It's, it's also always great to recognize uh, individuals that go above and beyond the call of duty. Uh, secondly, uh, Paula and her staff uh, for, again, the awesome job that they did in um, helping with the audit and, and making the audit turn out, turn out to be as positive as it has been. I know that in addition to the hard work in preparing things such as that, uh, you just uh, your services and your staff provide an awfully important uh, support to the district, and uh, it's that's a very integral part of uh, making things run smoothly for our district, and we appreciate that. Um, secondly, or the next one would be congratulations to Troth Street on our two awards uh, that they received. Uh, it's always good to get some outside sources for programs that you want to have at your individual sites, but in addition to that, they help support uh, student programs and things that benefit our students in general. And then the next one is um, congratulations on, on being selected to present uh, our programs at Monterey for the um, conference over there that's upcoming later on in the year. And then also um, for the document that was submitted uh, regarding our English learning programs for the, um, for the State Department of Education. Um, I think these two items again highlight the positive things and direction that's uh, taking place in our district. And uh, when you are asked to share this uh, in other venues, particularly at statewide conferences, it's quite an honor to be recognized and, and, and be provided, afforded that opportunity to, to be able to do that. So congratulations uh, on that regard. And then uh, going back to the LCAP that's on many of our minds, as Mr. Schaefer mentioned, um, when we were at the State Department, the State Board of Education this past week, um, the bulk of the people that were presenting and testifying before the State Board of Education uh, spoke favorably of um, providing the districts with the flexibility and the opportunity to use the funds that are going to be allocated through this process to focus on uh, our um, best programs to, to develop the best programs possible to enhance the academic achievement and performance of those targeted students, our English, English learner population, our low-income students, and um, the students that live in sheltered homes. Uh, but um, the, there were also, uh, there was also a minority though that spoke about concerns that people still have out there and that they'll be looking for in, in districts to see how effectively we manage that flexibility and how successful we are in um, in following through with the intent of the law. And uh, even the press enterprise carried a, a, an editorial indicating that 
um, people will be looking to make sure that we use those resources wisely and that uh, we in fact target those student populations and that we in fact involve all stakeholders, particularly our parent community though, in, um, in terms of developing our plans and allowing plenty of opportunities for them to comment on, on the plan that's developed here for our district. Um, so with that in mind, uh, I, I know that our staff has been working diligently in, um, in that effort and uh, I look forward to be uh, to have us be one of the districts that they'll invite in the future to, uh, to showcase uh, the exemplary form in which we have um, taken advantage of this opportunity to once again uh, take local control to really mean something and do something positive here in our district. So thank you. Thank you. Mr. Her Mr. Hernandez. Thank you for allowing me to finish my nap. I'm, I'm getting a little old over here. Well, first of all, I want to thank staff for putting the, the agenda together. Did an excellent job. Make sure you don't fall down on the job again, though. <laughs> well, I really feel bad for Mr. Deshaun, but that's what you get. <laughs> anyway, um, with uh, Common Core, I think it's going to be moving along all right with uh, uh, educating the, the community on the LCAP and their responsibility to hold the district accountable for what's going to be implemented. It makes them part of the process, and sometimes our residents feel like they have no power, but yet uh, with the new funding mechanism, it gives them more power than, than they know. I want to... Uh, Again, thank all the staff in, uh, in our school district because as I evaluated our, our budget uh, the last several years and I, I'm looking at uh, the sacrifices that a lot of people have made, I, I am thankful for people that care about other people. That they're not saying, hey, well, I'm not worried about them, I just want to make sure I get my cut. But, uh, in this community and in this district, people were willing to pull together and to uh, take care of one another. And I do believe, uh, how many uh, layoffs did we have, Mr. Duchamp? Um, one teacher layoff, not due to the recession. Yes, and we've, seven been, years. and we've been very fortunate. And I, first of all, I want to thank all you hardworking people out there because without you, we would not be successful. Uh, and with that, I want to thank staff for working so hard with uh, trying to resolve the problems in a positive way and not to put all the burden on just one group of individuals. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. And I'd like to echo what everyone has said tonight about staff and about where this district's heading and what a great group of people it is to work with and to be focused on what's good for our students and our community rather than on ourselves. Um, LCFF was, it was a good time up in Sacramento, over 300 board members, parents, staff members and community stakeholders came up to the State Board of Education to let them know that we wanted a chance to show that given us, the, if you, they gave us the money, we would be able to do for our district what needed to be done and be um, careful with the money, but make sure that our students got the programs and the needs that they needed. It wouldn't be spent frivolously. Also, I'd like to see that we have had a lot of money go out thanks to copper and wire theft. And um, I know there aren't a lot of community members in the room, but a lot of people look at the board meetings on the website. And I would just encourage anyone that is driving by or lives near a school, if you see something that you don't think looks right on the campus, day or night to call the school if it's during school hours or call the sheriffs so that they can go and assess the situation. Um, 
because it is a lot of money that could be going to the students that we're having to use to make repairs for dumb people that are doing dumb things out at our schools. With that, thank you all for joining us tonight, and we are adjourned. And we have to go, to, we are not adjourned, we have to go back to closed session. So if you want to hang around, you're more than welcome. We will return. Yeah, Mrs. Elsa can report out from closed session, right? I can, thank you. The board voted in closed session by a 5-0 vote to appoint Terry Marino as the new Director of Funding and Program Accountability. Congratulations, Terry. <laughs> and with that, we are adjourned.